Today we're looking at the Italian Otto Malara Mod 56. So this gun was designed in the mid 50s by the Italians in order to provide a light pack howitzer to support their mountain troops. This comprises of the howitzer 105mm L10A1 sitting on carriage L3A1. This gun was manufactured from 1957 through to 1984. It was acquired and used by 30 countries and they made in excess of about 4,200 of these pieces. So the trails actually come in three segments. This has got two segments. So the two segments actually gives us a bit of strength when we're firing, but it can have the third segment in and it can put into what we call the cranked position. We have the box spade here. We also have a knife spade that sits in this position here, which we can uh, punch into the ground. And we also have the angled spade. It's also said in the manual that it can come with a rock spade. Another component for this gun, which we don't have, is the shield. So the shield is about four millimeters thick, comes in two parts, the left side and the right side. So connected at the top. It has an upper and lower locating arm, which connects to the carriage. So three different configurations for this trail. Narrow configuration, which we see here. We have our medium configuration in the raised gun position. And we also have the wide configuration, which we can lower the gun, uh, reducing its silhouette for the anti-tank roll. To raise and lower this gun, we use the stand, which is this component here on both sides. Just lift the gun off the ground. We undo this latch here, remove it from the rear mount. So the whole wheel assembly comes out and we place it in the forward wheel mount and then lock it in. There's a latch under here. We can lift that up and then we can push this part of the suspension in. We go from a 1.5 meter width to about a 1.33 meter configuration. And this allows us to put this gun inside of an M113. We've got two positions where we can traverse this gun. First is via this handle on the left hand side connected to the traverse mechanism, which is also replicated on the right hand side. So the gun can be traversed by either gun number. In the elevated position, we have a 36 degree traverse. When we lower the gun down, we increase that traverse to about 56 degrees. The gun in this position, which is the raised position, we can go from anywhere between sort of minus five to minus seven degrees, and we can go to plus 65 degrees in elevation. When we lower the gun down, we still have that same depression, but we reduce the elevation now to plus 25 degrees. So there's two different dial sites that we can use for this gun, and they're placed on the left-hand side just here. So the first one we have is the number two Mark I dial sight, and the second one is the dial sight L1A1. Fitted on this side is the telescopic sight or a direct fire sight, the M1A1. This gives us a magnification of times three and a field of view of 12 to 15 degrees. The maximum range of this gun is 10.5 kilometers. This gun uses the standard US M1 artillery rounds. It is a semi-fixed round, comes in a canister. So we have the case, which contains the seven charge bags. We have the projectile and the fuse. Being semi-fixed means that you can separate the rounds if need be to remove charge bags if they want to fire at a shorter range. So with this, we can fire high explosive and that has a muzzle velocity of about 423 meters per second. We have a high explosive anti-tank which comes in at about uh, 320 odd meters per second. And that round is said to be able to penetrate about 101 millimeters of rolled homogeneous steel. Along with that, you also have a illumination round, a smoke round and a flashette round. So these guns saw service in Borneo, Malaysia and Vietnam with the Australian Army. So a notable engagement for the heavy use of these guns was the Battle of Long Tan on the 18th of August 1966, which was in support of a D Company 6RAR. During this battle, the 103rd and the 105th Field Battery of the Royal Australian Artillery and the 161st Field Battery of the Royal New Zealand Artillery supported Delta Company 6 RAR and fired in excess of 3,200 rounds. This gun was replaced in 1967 by the American-made M2A2 or the M101. That gun was considered to be more robust than this gun and it had a slightly longer engagement range of about 11,200 metres. So that's it for the L5 pack howitzer. If you've got a favourite tank or artillery piece, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video of it.